Hi guys, what's up? Warm welcome. If you are not subscribed, remember to subscribe to my channel. And today we will learn how to make fast Fourier transform in Excel. So stay tuned. Uh, first, you need a frequency of 40 and magnitude 30. Here you have your sine wave function. This is looks like this green function. Uh, we need to make it samples of the sine wave. And for do this, you need to make these blue points here. The number of blue points will be all the samples. I choose 64. So, in this sine wave function, I will draw 64 blue points, because this is a sample point. And the total tempo that I will choose is 0 0.0.2. And we not have the sine wave function, because we need the data. The data of this chart is here. Let's fill this data. This first row is this blue point, the first simple data. The second row is the second blue point, is the second blue data, and go on. If you have uh, 64 sample points, you need 64 rounds. So let's make this. Bingo. Uh, the time. For fill the time, use this formula. This formula only divide a line with with it true in 64 parts equal and data use this formula I only apply to a sine wave function go 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 get out of here And now you have your sine wave function. How you can make your fast Fourier transform in Excel? First thing you need to do is calculate the fast Fourier complex. For duties, go data analysis. That data analysis. I don't know how is this in Excel English, but I think that is this. Uh, full here, analysis, analysis, full here, analysis of full here, whatever. Data in. Selected data. Uh, data out. Selected the column FFT complex. Now, okay, now we got in this column, FFT complex, complex numbers, but we not need the complex numbers, you only need the model of complex numbers, as far as calculate this, use this formula, EIM, ABS, uh, the complex numbers, divided by this. Double click here, and for last, you need to fill the frequency because this chart uses this column of data. For few T's, make this formula. Double 
click here and go bingo you have your fast food here transform here you can choose another frequency here 20 calculate and this button i only record this in the macro and record in put the code inside this button you can make a fast food here of frequency of 10 You can find also fast food here transform of two sign functions. Let's choose a frequency of third here. Double click. No, to sine wave is not the sine wave. It's the, it's the sum of two sine waves. And you apply fast food here transform here. You can see two peak true spikes so today is all about that I want to say to you I hope you learn more about Excel and fast food here transform and Excel and I see you in the next one peace